Hey, Dad, here's an interesting sentence. Roger had a hard time explaining why he had a hard time explaining himself. Ah, uh, yes, I can see that he might. Yeah, what's with the mannequin picture? I don't know. It was the best I could find. Give me a break. Nonetheless, uh, it is a very interesting sentence, and if the viewers want to examine it first, they can pause the recording now. Okay, let's turn it apart. Clearly, Roger is the subject slash noun of the sentence, and had is an action verb. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that usually an auxiliary verb? It would be if it was followed by another verb, such as, I had walked. But in this case, we know it is followed by a noun, because we have a, the article slash adjective, a. Uh. But uh, what, what, what is the noun here? Time? No, because I don't think he had a time. He had a hard time explaining. Explaining is a participle acting as a noun. Time is a noun acting like an adjective to modify explaining. And hard is most often an adverb, as in, I work hard to correct all of your errors. But in this case, it is acting as an adjective to modify time. So, the adverb is acting as an adjective modifying a noun that is acting as an adjective to modify a participle that is acting as a noun. You got it. I do? Yes. We're only halfway done with the sentence. Yes. Why is a subordinating conjunction for the second clause? And then we have nearly the same confusing situation that we had in the main clause, but now we have added a reflexive pronoun. W what does that do? Well, it simply tells us what Roger is explaining himself. In this case, the participle explaining becomes a participle phrase, explaining himself. Okay, is that it? Well, if you really wanted me to make it more complicated... Oh, please, please! You could say Roger himself had a hard time explaining why he himself had a hard time explaining himself. Here we added a couple of intensive pronouns to emphasize Roger and he. They look a little inaccurate because we have a reflexive pronoun in the subject, but it is correct. Well, okay, in the end, I do think it's quite easy. You do? Well, yes, of course! He's a mannequin. Of course he couldn't explain himself. You do reduce everything to its simplest terms, <laughs> well, don't you? No, but, but I mean, it's, a sentence has to be about something, so it's about the mannequin. There are a lot of ways to look at these sentences. Maybe you found something we missed. Or maybe Daddy got something completely wrong. Or maybe you have a question or a comment or a sentence to challenge us with. We want to hear from you in the comment section below. We're not the grammar police. We're just trying to figure this out like everybody else, so be kind to us and to each other. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to like us, pin us, or tweet us, and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our other channel, Profs Pop, where we go on cultural and historical adventures. And there will be more good and well grammar videos coming soon.